Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded Lost Souls. As you can see, I've got new boots on. Let's have a look at those quickly. I got them from an ember actually, they dropped and I think it was an ember. So I've got Feather Falling 2 on it and they're iron boots. And I've had to upgrade my stuff because that requires 2 ability and 4 defence. Um, in fact I've had to upgrade the skills quite a lot. Mining I've brought right up to 18 because I couldn't mine nether uh, quartz anymore. You know, that, they raised that up from 10 to 17. So that got a little bit tricky. I probably can do. I should probably raise up attack a little bit. Of course, we've got 4 XP in here, so we'll do that while I'm thinking about it. And the other thing I noticed is, if we go back here, mining. I did fossil dig digger, didn't I? This one, oh, I can do that one as well. Obsidian smasher. Highly increases the speed of obsidian mining when using a diamond pickaxe. Okay, we'll do that one. We can unlock that. So we've unlocked this one. But the fossil digger. It says it's actually a chance to mine two coals per, per ore rather than one. When you're using an iron picks or above. And I think it also affects th other things as well. I think it's also affecting um, iron ingots. Because I was mining some. I was getting a lot more than I was expecting to get. Let's go back to that skills again. Gathering. What have we got here? So if I do five magic, I'll do a liquor fisherman. That's no big deal. And 20 gathering at 8 attack will do a drop guarantee. Okay, so that may be good later on. I think I'm a bit too early on that one. So I've got, I've got <laughs> 9 gathering and I've got to get 20 and 8 attack. There's a bit of action outside. But I've been quite busy in the, between episodes anyway. Because what I was doing was trying to get up as much as so this wood have got. So I was doing a lot of trees. A lot of nether because I was exploring a bit and a lot of coal to get my XP's up to so I could get the nether quartz again. So that was quite a busy little time I had over the weekend. Um, died a few times of course, like loads, and uh, that wasn't so good. But what I was working towards, I think I've got everything in, not that chest. Oh, I just don't want those in there, they don't belong in there. Put those over here I think. Oh, you'll see I've got some frame stairs and some frame slants. I was coming back home from a little excursion and got attacked by a ghast right outside the front door. Fortunately, I did actually manage to kill the ghast. In fact, I killed two in one excursion. I managed to bash back his fireball and that sorted him out. And that's actually quite difficult. First time I've done it, to be honest with you, for a long time. So... What I wanted to do was to get the clay, and I think the clay must be in this one. Nope, I've got the clay. I now prepared it all because I've been busy making soil and grinding it. What have I done with the clay? Ah, here we go. No, I've turned it into porcelain. That's what I did. <laughs> so I was using the um, the quartz to make uh, unfired porcelain. Because what I wanted to do was to do the porcelain quest. So. So we have to make all of these type of things to make a sort of cheap tinker's construct thing. Let's have a look at that one too. What I will do is I'll take this one down here and put it in here like this and have a look at the quest. Because that's one of the basic survival quests that we've got. This one here. So we've got to make a porcelain melter. So let's do that. First of all. So porcelain melter is this one. So this requires a porcelain tank, a porcelain gauge, or a porcelain window. Now, this one requires four porcelain, that's a porcelain gauge. Now, a porcelain window requires six, and a porcelain tank, I think was the other one, requires eight. So obviously the cheapest is to do the porcelain gauge. So we need, what's that, well, we've got four, so we need five pieces of glass of any description, I think. So let's get some glass. I hope it's not purple glass, otherwise I'll have a bit of a problem. So we need some sand. And I think I've got some sand ready. From last time when I was doing some compressing sand. And I can't see it in there. Yeah, I'm well, we need five pieces of this. Let's take eight. Well, eight seems to always be a good number for things like this. Let's take these out of there and get these smelted up to make glass. 
While that's doing that, we can do the other bits and pieces. So that's the gauge we need to make first, and then we can make the other things. And I know we need to make a table. So let's have a look at what we've got. A porcelain heater. Let's have a look what we have to do for a porcelain heater. So it's just it's just a furnace, which is okay. A oh, that's be interesting too. So we've got another another, uh, another furnace, which is just eight. Another, but around that we've got to put nether brick so each one of those is going to be four nether we could do that actually that's not too bad we can get that smelting up as well i'm just wondering how many of i'll need at least one stack of that won't i all right we've got to have five pieces of which wait for those to finish because we can carry on with the quest anyway so let's have a look at this porcelain casting table so we should be able to do that Oh, we need the bricks. <laughs> I haven't fired these up to bricks yet, have I? Right. I'm not doing too well. I really could do with another oven or so, couldn't we? Today. We'll put these in. We could actually go and get nether bricks. That's not so difficult because there's a great big fortress just around the corner. But having said that, I've got so much netherrack, it's not true. So let's make the netherrack furnace first of all. So we need eight fours of 32. So we need 32 nether bricks, don't we, to make that? Yeah, that's right, 32. So we'll let those cook. So the next thing we've got to make is a stone bucket. If we can make a stone bucket, that's this one. So we need three pieces of, oh, just cobblestone. That shouldn't be too difficult. Of, I presume it's just any form of cobblestone will do. So let's go and get some cobblestone. We should have some cobblestone in this chest here. If it's not, yeah, we should have. Got some compressed cobblestone. I think I've got some in this chest. Nope. Strange. All right, take some out of here. I probably used it. I probably used it all up to be honest with you. Some compressed cobble, so we'll just have one of these. Oops, one. Let's compress gravel. Okay, good. Let's just uncompress this. Let's see if we can make the stone bucket. I'm not mistaken, just do it like this, but we'll see. Yeah, that works fine. Nice and cheap recipe for a change, pleasant change. And that's going to take quite a long time to cook these by the looks of it. Huh. Right, next one. I'm not sure what's next. Have a look, look at the book. So we need a porcelain faucet. Ah, that's completed that. Good. Okay, so we might have enough to do the porcelain. And we've got enough to do the porcelain faucet. I think it's just a V of porcelain. It is. And this one was a porcelain casting table, so we need seven for that. So we've completed those two bits. So we need the gauge. So we need three more pieces of porcelain to finish bricks to finish the gauge off. One more. So we should be able to do the gauge. Let me fill that in with glass. And then we get our porcelain gauge. Uh, so we need then that we need to go back to the melter. And we need the... F the so there's not too much we need to do now. We've got to wait for these two. Okay, good. I put these. I move these down, but they're still gro not growing at all. I must be must be too bright or something in here. And I, this farmland and melon seeds just aren't growing either. So let's have a look. How are we doing with that? Four more. We need. We need actually all of these except for one. Then I've got to figure out how I use this stuff, haven't I? Tinkler's compliment. I shall have to look up how I use Tinker's Compliment. Tell you what I'll do, I'll come back when I've, as soon as I've done that bit. I'll see you in a minute. Well, those are smelting now, but these don't, don't go in. Oh, well, they do go in, but they don't smelt. So I've got to go to another fortress and get some bricks. Let's do that. Hopefully we're not going to get killed too many times on this. Also, look at this. This is an iron axe. It's got nine attack damage. 
this is a stone sword with five attack damage. I think I'll keep the iron axe in my hand for the time being. Now the fortress is over, I think it's over here. I think it's over, I think it's behind us, isn't it? There's something over there. Enderman stealing blocks as usual. Can I go fast if I run? Where is it? No, I don't think the fortress is here. That's the other bit. The fortress is over here. Oops, I see him. If I run, I can get out of his way. I have discovered that. Also, when I was playing around, I got attacked by um, I got something or other. I can't remember what it attacked me. Uh, ember pushed me into lava. That wasn't so good. So I could be able to harvest this without too much of a problem. So we need eight of these, don't we? Tell you what we'll do. We'll do it fast with the pickaxe and just. What have I got now? 48, that's fine. And now I can actually harvest burnerium as well. So if I do this and just. So then I get some burnerium, which is actually quite good. Because I got up high enough. And the last time I wanted to come here, I couldn't actually mine um, soulstone anymore. But now we can mine soulstone again. It was a problem with it. Right, number one, I think. Oops. These embers can be a right pain. <laughs> it also increases difficulties as well, or the rate the difficulties go up. Um, they've also increased quite a lot. What did I get there? 37 cobblestone, uh, soulstone. Let's do another one, another block of this if we can. Because it's actually quite important for our, most of our tools we're using cobblestone for at the moment. And not being able to use it, I was having to use my normal cobblestone during the uh, when I was doing playing with release RC1. This is RC3. So now I need to go back to the base. Just check around. Oh, he's there. Look. Let's go fast so we can get past him. Oops, he's right on my tail. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I got got, as usual. God, they're a pain, those things, I must be honest with you. But, having said that, I can actually get rid of them. What I can do now is I can just simply put down a block, have this in my hand like this. He won't go away. He can't see me at the moment until I attack him. So let's attack him. It's probably a bit dangerous, this. Let's go. Uh. Oops. Uh. <laughs> okay, now he's inside. Now I can attack him. So let's go get my thing and this time get my revenge. Where's he gone to? There. So what you can now do is I can trap him in here, so that's no big deal. So let's put one block here. Uh, what? That's what I'm doing. That doesn't make sense. I can't put down the wood. Ah. If he goes down there, I have a problem. I can't get him anywhere. He's gone off. Okay, good. Ignore him. I was going to see if I could trap him in, but I got stuck with that thing. So right, <laughs> after all this death and destruction, we should be able to make the next two components of this. Gosh, this takes a lot, quite a lot of effort, doesn't it? So we need to make a a standard furnace like that. Great. So around the furnace, I think we need to put. So check the recipe. It was the heater, wasn't it? like that so we can make one of those no problem so the last thing we need to make was the, the melter and I can do that and I should have one block free like that so I've got the melter and I've got the heater I've got the table and I think I need a tank but if I do need a tank I'll have to do that now what I also have discovered is in here we've got a room but also 
I'll just give her this by chance. Oh, I can't break that without factory blocks. I see. All right, I could break the factory blocks, but behind this is a little hole. <laughs> That's a sort of. I'll do it in here, I think. Oh no, I can't do it in there because I put this. <laughs> I put this in the way. Let's just remove these. I'll use a stone pick to do that. A stone axe, I mean. Because I could actually do this before. I can't break the door, so that's weird. Because what actually I was putting these down for was a second. So I can't even. I can't put the wooden blocks on here. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, does it? Okay, I can do it like this, but that makes life a bit awkward. do it across this way. Actually that does make life a bit awkward. I'll probably have to report that because it doesn't seem right they can't put blocks on on the thing. I'm actually doing holding down because the, it's both the same type. Because I want to go into this room anyway. So let's put this, the melter down here. I think we can do it. I'm not exactly sure how this works. Just read the wiki quickly and see if I could figure anything out. Let's put it down, say here like that. <laughs> I can't put it down. No way. This is not right. Okay, I need building nine to be able to do that, and I'm not going to be able to get building nine for a while. So look how much I'm doing for my building skills. This is actually this is actually a pain. <laughs> What can I put this? Where can I put this down? Let's put it. Yeah, I can do that like that, and then probably put the heater on this like this, and then remove this block. And then I think you can put the smel the melter on top of this, like this. And we need to put some, presumably we need to put some lava in that, that's not such a big deal. And then I think we can put a faucet beside these. But well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and I'll try it again like that. And we can put a faucet on that, like that, and then we can put the casting table down. And I think that might be all we need to do. Let's go and get some lava. We've got the stone bucket. What else do we have from that particular little bit of building? That was it, wasn't it? There's five things. I haven't collected the quest yet. But let's eat at the same time as well. Right. Food bar up again. So, as you can see, it was my first time. There's a, there's a pot, lava pool over there. And a man over there. Let's just get this filled up with one bucket and see if it actually works. I <laughs> can't fill it up. Uh, okay, then I guess use the chalice in that case. That can pick up a bucket of lava, no problem. And I wonder how I use this thing then. If I can't do the bucket like that. Can I use the chalice on this thing here? How do I fill up the bucket? So I've got a stone bucket, five building, five gathering. Ah, okay. Does not work as a bucket, but it's good to cast one. Okay, I should have read the recipe, shouldn't I? So presumably you have to put this down like this. And then we have to go and get some lava and put this into here. How am I going to do that? That's a good. That's a good challenge, isn't it? I've got to make a stone. Oh, I probably can't even make an iron bucket. But as you can see, I've got a reasonable amount of iron now. And I can make some. I can always make some more iron ingots like this. Got another five. That's why I bothered to making the other bits and pieces too. So we've got twenty-five ingots of iron. Ah. So the question is, how do I do that? Because in that quest, if I remember rightly, there was a second part to it. So we've done that one. Now we need to make a bucket cast. So we need two gold. I wonder, have I got 24? Yes, I have. 
that should be enough let's just see if we can actually put this into here so we would need oops 18 of these I was busy as you can see 18 let's just have a look if it actually smelts if I put this into here let's take half of those no nope, we've got no lava in there yet <laughs> so I need to get some lava into this I can't put this in here like this can I this might be dangerous it won't be too bad yeah can I actually right click this onto this nope <laughs> that's a challenge for me how do I get the lava into this if I right click it it goes on there if I shift right click it changes to pick up mode I can't do it like that okay so I need to smelt some gold and I can't get gold into it yet <laughs> so I need some lava so let's make a bucket now what choices have we got for buckets I think we've got porcelain's a bucket okay let's do that one first because I just need two I just need two more pieces let's do that of clay and we can make two porcelain I think we can make a porcelain bucket one more and I should get that one out so I was doing quite a lot of this in, over the weekend as well just grinding the stuff up one more there we go so now we need some nether quartz which isn't in there anymore because I put it over here one of those what's it going to oh, of course it doesn't work does it I was trying to scroll it and it doesn't never works these days So add two clay, one nether quartz, give us two porcelain, and I should be able to make a porcelain bucket. Having said that, I don't see, oh we could make a clay bucket, couldn't we destabilize clay bucket? I thought I'd not, okay, let's just check. Because there's a possibility I already made one of those at some stage of the game. Or got one as a quest reward. I'm not 100% sure. I've got these barrels. Barrel extensions. Unfired clay bucket. Okay, good. I reckon we can use this one. Let's cook this up. I hope this will work. It's certainly going to work with a, a fired one, is it? Right, so now I've got... A, an unfired one so let's put this down of course I can't break this anymore <laughs> I'll tell you what we can and I can't put anything maybe I can put some stuff on this let's have a look if I can put some no I'll try stone but I can't do this either <laughs> um, well this is a bit of a challenge I basically want to put this down I'll do it I would prefer to do it inside than outside but if I put it against wood, it's going to sit on fire, isn't it? So let's not do that. But there is that over there, so let's do that one over there. Just have a quick look around, see if there's anything dangerous. Nothing obvious today. So I mean to say I'm not going to get killed doing this. Shift right click and put that in there. Let's take this out of here and put the bucket. See if we can do it like this. Yeah, perfect. That works. Now I'm safely backed up, that's very good to know, isn't it? So I should be able to put this now into here. Is that working? Or do I need to put lava into here? Well, that's an interesting problem for me. How am I going to get this to work? Oh, maybe it's maybe I just use coal. I haven't thought about that. We've got no shortage of coal. Let's take some. Let's take some coal. No fuel. What does it want for fuel? Tell you what. I'll be back in a second. Well, I'm back. <laughs> it's not working as it's supposed to look. 
I was looking at the thing. It says a heater. The porcelain heater. Shift. So you can smelt using solid fuels, but at a more limited temperature. So I've got the gathering in the building, so that's no big deal. So we've, we can do that. But the, the, limit, the fuels don't seem to work. Let's just try it. What solid fuels have we got? Normally it's things like coal. And it's not got the burning sides on here. And this doesn't, it also puts it into here at the same time. So that doesn't look as if that's working. What else can we, can we, I was going to try blocks of wood, planks, no good, sticks. They're also going into the heater at the same time. And pieces of wood, nothing seems to work. So what I then did is I made a, a porcelain window. More grinding of uh, dirt to get some more clay and that was that. So I can put the porcelain window down. But I can't, unless I put it on the side of this, so I can shift right click it on there like that. So this version is actually, the RC3 version is actually not really very playable, because that means you couldn't put anything down in your base. So let's just right click this, I need to change it to right mode, so it's in the, the non glowing mode, and I can put this into there, and does that work? Well, if it's working it looks like it's very broken, because I don't see a how that actually gets into this thing. Unless I have to sort of... It's not got any fuel in this, this is what I don't understand. Let's see what I could do. Let's break the heater. I just need a pickaxe for this. And break the, the melter, I, but this should work. Let's try putting the, the melter on top of the, the tank. It probably doesn't work. That's the heater. Ah, this now we've got that. So now we've got lava into that. That's fantastic. Okay, good. So we can carry on. So let's remove the faucet and this bit over here. Well, it's a bit of hard work today, isn't it? So I don't think the heat is working as it's as declared, so let's remove that and break this. Pick up these two bits, which I've now got full inventory, so let's get rid of the bits of wood that I was trying <laughs> before. <laughs> Gosh. I should be able to pick these bits up now. So we should be able to put the casting table down like this. Oh yes, if shift right click it on there and that'll do it. And then I can put the, the the stone bucket in here like that. Then I can put some nuggets of gold into there like that. And sure enough, those are smelting this time. Good question, how much we need? We'll try. That's already done. Three nuggets. Stick in the next three. And we need to put the faucet down as well. Because I forgot to do that. Can I put that onto there like that? Yes, I can. And so it's telling me how much I've got on this cast here, so that's good. So let's let's put in another three. So we're getting there. What I don't want to do is more than I need to do, so that would be bad, wouldn't it? At least the chalice is working, that's quite smashing. I'm pleased about that, that's really good. Okay, let's put the next three in. I think we probably need all of these. The capacity is a little bit limited at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. So it looks like I've got another six or so to go. Does that work? Yes, it does. Good. Now that should be the three. That'll be at least one ingot's worth, because I took out 18, didn't I? I think I did. No, not yet. Not yet. Sorry, it's not done those into there. Now let's do it like this first of all, double check it. So maybe three more will do. Let's just put one in at a time, because it won't take very long to smelt one one nugget of uh, gold. Let's have a look. Probably just, probably is the next two. I'm going to be, I'm going to be cautious, because Gold's quite hard to come by at the moment. I had a lot of difficulty finding it. In fact, I should have... I might even have some gold. No, I didn't have any gold, did I? One more, I reckon. 
and that should produce the cast and then we've actually completed one thing that we need to complete did that actually work there we go so we now got our bucket cast and it's consumed that that's great so now we can actually cast a bucket what have we got to do one iron bucket I wonder how much iron we need for that let's get some out of here it's probably going to be three pieces I guess but we'll see I doubt it's going to be less than that let's have a look at the iron bucket recipe I can't see it for trying it must be there visible tell you what I really can't see it <laughs> I can see iron buckets with stuff in them but let's have a bucket there we go so we can do it that way we should be able to cast it so there should be a casting recipe dungeon chests so transposers oh hold on what did we say here it's probably the same as this one so 864 million buckets which I think is about it's quite a lot actually it might be six six eight hundred and sixty four I reckon that's six okay let's we'll try six in that case we can do three at a time so that's as much as we can do and they should smelt up fairly quickly so I shall have to find out why the porcelain heater doesn't work. I can imagine that not working for higher metals. It doesn't make alloys, that's for certain. It tells me it doesn't make alloys. So the hotter metals iron, probably maybe one gold wouldn't be. It would do it, you would expect that to work for gold, whatever else. So that's a fairly bad. And this is actually 50 millibuckets of lava. So that's half a twentieth of a bucket of lava. And this one has got doesn't tell me exactly now right click it nope it just tells me I've got the quest oh, of course I've got the quest in my hand let's just right click this one in. nope doesn't tell me oh look so that's now smelted we can see it this is quite neat this isn't it yeah exactly half Sarah's right so it is six ingots of iron and I only brought three with me very good <laughs> Now that one will probably give me a lot more gold because it's gold ore. So we'll you'll see. If I, if I end up with more iron in here than that, so we're going to, probably going to be a bit of a nuisance too. But we probably could make a nugget cast as well. But we would need another. Uh, was it? Did I think it's probably nine. 18 nuggets of gold to make one so I think that's probably about right yes I can't remember exactly what I had at the beginning nearly done and when this is done we've finished the, that quest a lot of work to do this one the quest actually and more than I expected it to be done so we've got three ingots all right click on this should fill this up yep yeah, indeed it's working fantastic So this release RC3, there's a few problems which are actually, uh, oddly enough, not being able to put stuff down. It's actually surprisingly serious. So, quest should be completed. Let's go and check it now. I probably, need, I probably need to cast out. I hope I haven't got that in my hand. There we go. Quest completed. Compliment. So I've got a choice reward. An iron toolkit. Well... Actually, iron toolkit's probably probably the best one in this case. So look, I think the iron toolkits are going to be quite expensive. Wonder what an iron toolkit requires. <laughs> yeah, that's the you're going to be an enormous things blocker. We'll take the iron. We'll take. We'll definitely take that because it's a good reward, whatever else it is. So. Try that again. 
chance games, well, they've not been so great recently. Porcelain, that's just bay. What was that? Was, that was quite a few bits of dirt. That's quite a lot of work as well. So we've knit. I should probably have updated these two too. That's the way to do those. And I think that's all I've got for this episode. So there we are. Interesting episode. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.